My name is Victor. This is my shop. I work here with my two sons. I'm gonna attempt to get these engines running. I build cars also at the same time. Look at this one running. Before I take it apart and restore it. You see it doesn't have any spark plugs, so most likely it is frozen. But that's not a problem. It's a real authentic 1970 car. It was licensed at one point. It's been sitting for over 40 years. Shallow Camaro 79 and 56 chassis, 69 cutlass. This one's the one we're going to attempt to get started. I want to have it running. Of course, I'll take it apart, but for now, I'll just get it running. I'll work on it while it's driving, no suspension. Yep. A 66 Volkswagen. Caught power at one point. We brought it back to life. We'll get this one going also eventually. This is a 72 Ford F100 chassis, new motor, all new suspension parts. The Econoline kind of van, 59 truck, Toyota pickup, 84 I believe, 70 money Bronco, piece of shit. 77 money Carlin, my dad was original owner, still is. We'll bring that one back to life, we got an 81 Trans Am. 68 Mustang, 77 pickup, personal. Another cover is a uh, 68 Skylark, 73 Monte Carlo, and a 77. The 77 runs. She runs beautifully. I bought it for $500, but it has a lot of thrust damage on the roof. So I will be repairing that also. Let's check inside. She's nice. Other than the rust. And the door light. This is my personal Chevy. Monte Carlo had for 30 years. Let's take a look at her. Fifty-six Chevy. Needs a floor. Nineteen seventy Monte Carlo. There she is. Let's get back over here on the side. Let's see if we can get this Mustang running. I'm sure it'll run as long as it's not frozen. The other day I was messing with it a little bit. Had to tap the starter. It wasn't cranking over. I got it cranking over. No spark. So let's pay attention to this one first. Well, almost forgot. 66 Comet. Mercury. All original. One owner car. We've done the engine bay and the underbody. Already been painted underneath. She's a beauty. Hot mama. Let's get back to this one. Okay. So I'm gonna set this here somehow. Okay. All right, can't see anything there. Let's go on this side. This is cool. I find here. Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, this is missing the radiator, alternator, and all that stuff. But that doesn't matter, you can get an engine to start without even a carburetor. Just as long as it has a timing change, she will run. Alright, so let's get started here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a wrench. Right, some temporary wires here. This uh, side post wire from the stash that I saved the parts. It doesn't matter right now. As we start it, I'll show you the guys inside of the shop in a second. Let's see what we have. Let's put it in.
in this second. Let's see if you can see sparkle. Oh, shit. What you can do to get an old engine started without having to spend any money. At least you can see what's going on with it. And then from there, go whatever direction you want. Either build it, put it back together, just with new parts, or you can actually restore it. It's up to you. But for now, that's it. We're going to be running. No problem. I'm going to hear my boys here talk to me. Positive, negative, and then it goes to the distributor. Of course, and okay, that's it. And doing this, we can hot wire it, go straight to the battery, our past ignition system. Let's see. So, In this case, carburetor cleaner should do the trick. Play a shit load. Speaks to me. Oh, shit, it's a drive. <laughs> All right, no problem. Good drive. Come on, baby. Do this again. She runs like a. She runs, baby. Give her some more juice. Or show me some love, mamacita. She wants some more. Give her some more. situation a little bit later but she's alive and she wants me so I gotta treat her right no problem